Hello guys, welcome back to another new video. In this video, I am going to show you how to make GTA 6 trailer logo animation on Filmware 13. So without any delay, let's get started. So we'll make this video in two parts. The first one is logo reveal and the second one is the text reveal. So let's start with the first one. For this, go titles and add default title into the timeline. Then edit your title and type B and I. That means 6. Then change your font to Montserrat Black and set font size to 280. Ok, after done, right click on this and go create compound clip and rename it and click OK. Then add this compound clip two times into the timeline. Then go to the effects section. Then go Boris effects. Then go down and go grades and tints and add this BCC gel effects to the first one. Then go effects control and open this color drop down and set color to black and set highlights to zero. So now you can see our text color is now black. Now hide this layer. Then select second text and go Boris effects plus lights and add this BCC plus glow effect to this then go to the effect section and open this glow drop down and increase some brightness and increase some blur x and y ok after that also hide this track then select the last one and now go new blue effects then go filters then go down and add this gradient tint effect to this last text then select this text and go effect section then open this first tint and set color to pink and increase the blend to maximum and decrease the mask then open second tint and now this time set color to yellow and like previous increase the blend and decrease some mask then again go the Boris effects then add this BCC plus race effect to this then open this race drop down and first decrease some length and increase some brightness Okay now unhide the second and third layer and now our logo is look like this. Okay now it's time to add animation. For this first hide the last track then select the second text then go to the video section and go mask then select this linear mask and first set rotate to minus 90 and set position Y to 500 and add a keyframe on this. Then go to the file menu and go project settings and select frame rate to 60 fps from here. Then click OK. Then go 2 seconds later and set position Y to minus 500 and set blood strength to 30. Now let's check preview. So you can see now our glow is animated. So in this way add this mask in the last text. First select the last text and add a linear mask. First set rotate to minus 90. Then set position Y to 500. Then add a keyframe. And now go 2 seconds 10 frames later and set position Y to minus 500. Then set blood strength to 30. Now let's check preview. So you can see a nice logo reveal now showing. So now it's time to add second animation. For this, go 3 seconds later and select the third text 
then go to the basic option and add a keyframe on opacity. Then go 30 frames later and set opacity to 0. So in this way do same for second text. Select this and add a keyframe on opacity. Then go 30 seconds later and set opacity to 0. For the first text, select this and go effect section. Then open this raise drop down and this time add a keyframe for this raise. For this add a keyframe to length and then go 30 seconds later and set length to 0. Render frame for smooth playback. So you can see our first part animation is done. Now let's create the second text. For this go again the titles and add default title into the timeline. Then select text and edit your text from here. For this first set the font. So in this time I set the font to price to. Then edit your title from here. Ok after that select all text and go more text option and decrease line heights like this. Then go to the advanced text option and activate the outline. In outline first set outline color to black and set thickness to 4 and increase some blur. Then add another outline by click this plus icon and now this time set color to pink and increase some thickness and decrease some blur. Ok after that click on apply. Then set text size to 60 and our second text is done. Now it's time to add animation. For this right click on this and go create compound clip. Rename it and click ok. So like previous add this compound clip into the upper track two times. So now add animation like previous. First select the second text and go effect section. And add this BCC plus glow effect to this. And go to the effect section. Then open this glow drop down. Increase brightness and blur. Then select the third text. And add this BCC plus race effect. Then go to the new blue effects. Then go filters. Then add this gradient tint effect. Then go to the effect section. Into the race section. Decrease some length. And increase some blur. And into the gradient option, like previous, add logo gradient. Ok, now let's animate this. First select the second text and go video section. Then go mask and add a linear mask like previous and first set rotate to minus 90 and set position to 300. Then add a keyframe on this. And then go 1 seconds later and set position to minus 300 and set blood strength to 30. Now select the third text and do same process. Now let's take preview. Ok now do same process for the first one. For this select the first one and add this linear mask. Set rotate to minus 90, add a keyframe and set position to 300, then go 1 seconds later and set position to minus 300 and set blood strength to 30. Now render frame and check preview. Ok now reveal is done. Now add the opacity animation. For this go some frame later and select second text 
and go video section and go basic then add a keyframe on opacity then again go 10 frames later and set opacity to 0 do same process for the third one add a keyframe on opacity go 10 frames later and set opacity to 0 now it's look like this okay our second text animation is also done now just add this second text animation above the first text animation for this go 4 seconds later then select all second animation and add this above this first animation and increase the size of first text animation so if you see this white bar just double click on this and increase this text duration then go main timeline and you can see it fixed now select the second text animation and set the position according the first animation okay it's perfect now just add the coming text okay our animation is done now let's take our final preview so i hope you guys understand all things if you have any issue please let us know in the comment section below thanks for watching goodbye